Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. The next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 22nd of November and we'll be able to send out beyond that. We're going to send GFS and ESM on Sunburns Bay Run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB24 December at the end of the video. More about that very shortly. But just say that the first video they say was our 7 a.m. upload. Uh, we've also uh, released uh, Jamie Friday, the E7 WF42 day look at. So check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. And uh, say this is your 10 to 40 day. It could be live streaming after 10 o'clock tonight. So uh, probably around 10.20, 10 10.30, something like that. Um, live streaming with GFS 18Z. So I shall see you uh, then. Right, okay, let's have a look then at central temperature. So we're beginning here. Uh, with CT, and it's currently sitting at 8.9, continue to rise, uh, that is now 1 degree above average, that's provisional to yesterday, the 11th, getting ever milder, that's going to carry on rising as the weather remains in a mild scenario. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Let's go to week. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So we're above average at the moment. We're staying solidly above average as we go into the second half of uh, November. There may be a bit of a cool down that uh, takes place uh, later on in November. But uh, whether that's getting any closer, I'm not sure uh, really. Uh, generally, the next week to 10 days. Probably beyond that, maybe in the next 12 days, looking uh, mild all the way. Um, precipitation anomalies, generally on the driving average side, going a little bit wetter later on, perhaps through the, second, through the final week of uh, November. No real change in the scenario. And therefore, temperature anomalies are above average from the 12th through 20th of November. And the precipitation anomaly is driving average from the 12th, 20th of November. Rinks repeat. Latest wind from that from EarthNullSchool.net shows got some low pressure to the west of Scotland. So it is a little bit more unsettled today, but high pressure will very quickly be back in business. So this is how the UK met Euros looking for uh, midnight on Friday. Yes, you've guessed it. Large reach of high pressure extending in from the Azores to Scandinavia, bringing loads of dry and uh, mild weather. That carries on through Tuesday. Wednesday perhaps weakens high pressure a little bit. Maybe turns a bit more unsettled in the north of Scotland. Uh, the high pressure never goes away, though, really, sitting just to our west southwest. And it's still there even into the end of the week. That's Friday the 19th of November. As far as we get to with UK Met Euro, still high pressure over. So to our southwest, we do bring some cold air into Scandinavia. So there will be cold blasts of northerly winds in Scandinavia, northeast, uh, northeast Europe. But we're kept protected under this ridge of high pressure. The ridge that we've been in basically since like the final week, 10 days of August. Um, but, you know, but a continuous ridge that just will not disappear and uh even when we think it's disappeared it just comes back within a few days and, th and there we go it's still in business been in business for like three months up to this point um with uh with just occasional deviations incredible uh incredibly consistent pattern Right, this is how the, uh, so as far as we get to the UK Met, this is how the GFS Midnight Run goes. Uh, again, a high pressure ridges from your source. Scandinavia brings loads of dry weather for the early part of uh, next week. That weakens a little bit through uh, the middle and second half next week in the north anyway, the south will be kept protected by the high pressure. And uh, moving up towards day 10, you know, there's the high pressure still ridging there, still well and truly in control of the weather. That's day 10, 22nd of November, still under this high pressure of doom that's sort of sitting there and refusing to budge. Um, it looks like we might sort of start to pull in something a little bit colder beyond that. It's yet 23rd of November, we have a go uh, to bring this trough of low pressure in from the north. So we do go into a, like a bit of a northerly there by the 24th of December. It's rather fleeting though. Um, then the high pressure just comes back and it's like to our south and up comes in those mild southwesterly winds uh, again as we get to the end of a GFS midnight run which gets us to the 28th of November. So it's like a little bit of a cold snap uh, around there, 24th of November. Last perhaps a day, maybe two. Um, and then we're back into the mild weather again. Uh, 6Z looks like that, so high pressure reaching through the country on Monday. That will bring a lot of dry and fine weather with it. 
Uh, and for myself, it's basically going to be dry all of next week. But north will be a little bit more unsettled. And the wind will remain from a west, uh, southwest direction. So it will continue to be really mild through most of next week as well. High pressure just pulls out slightly to our west. Allows something a little bit colder in from the north around daytime. We're on the periphery of that. Most of the cold air is with the trough of low pressure plunging southwards through Scandinavia. But I think, you know, probably enough there to suggest that within the high pressure, it does turn a little bit colder around day 10. Certainly with a chance of increasing chance of some frost uh, anyway. It's all very brief and flimsy, though, because by the time you get just beyond day 10, high pressure is moving southwards again, and back come those mild uh, west to southwesterly winds. And that's how long as we get to the end of the 6 uh, still with high pressure basically to the south, low pressure way to the northwest, still drawing up those uh, mild or maybe quite warm uh, southwesterlies. Uh, GM. If you enjoyed the video, uh, by the way, please smash the like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think. GM. Looking like this. Rich from the Azores, Scandinavia. On Monday, mainly dry and mild or very mild. The high pressure weakens a little bit by the middle of next week. Perhaps turns a bit more unsettled in the north and the west. But uh, basically, the high pressure carries on in the south. and just goes a little bit more unsettled for northern and western areas. And the GEM finishes up looking like that. So we do bring like a cold blast in Scandinavia and northeast Europe with this trough of low pressure. We'll get winter well and truly going up there we're under the high pressure so we don't really get into that maybe it turns a little bit cooler in the high pressure but essentially we're on the periphery and most of the cold air is to our uh, north and then the ecm uh, looks like this with high pressure getting reaching in from the atlantic to northern europe mainly dry and uh, mild with that one for the part of next week a little bit more unsettled through the second half next week in the north mainly dry still a mile down in the south. Now, the ECM does something a bit different in that it does pull the high pressure out into the Atlantic properly uh, as we get through to the weekend of the 20, 21st of November. It eventually drops this trough in from the north. So, the ECM is actually going for a little bit of uh, a little bit more, a little bit more unsettled around days 8, 9, and 10, and turning a bit colder as well, putting wind in from the north. So, if you, if you want some cold weather, the ECM is the only one that really has any interest. Uh, today, once that low pressure clears through to south and east, that will properly get the wind into the north. It will only be briefly, so um, low pressure to the south of Greenland will then roll in from the Atlantic and return winds back in to the west again. This low uh, just here would sort of pull wind into the west quite quickly, I think. But at least for a day or two, um, the uh, ECM looks like it's pulling in some northerly winds. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometcho.com. We have got some rain today. After that, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of dry weather away from the far north and northwest. So some wet weather coming through around the middle part of next week. Maybe some winter showers in the north. But fundamentally, uh, the weather stays reasonably dry in the south until later on when this low pressure drops in and that does turn things really quite wet then and eventually will start to turn things colder as winds pulling to the north these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 which gets us to the 22nd of November from the Icelandic Met Office 27 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure to our west and low pressure is to the east and so we're bringing him in from a little bit more of a northwesterly type direction with that one it does include the control and the operational run you've got 24 with high pressure from the Azores reaching towards Ireland low pressure to the north of Scotland Again, quite a bit of dry weather with that, and that's quite mild, bringing wind up from the southwest. In two weeks' time, uh, these are the option, or this is the option I've got, given it's only one of them, uh, one option, um, with high pressure just to our west, so still mainly dry on the 27th of November. Uh, that's a little bit on the colder side, could be bringing in winds from the northwest to maybe even uh, the north. A little bit of a mid Atlantic ridge, but no support from northern blocking, so. Um, you know, it's not going to be particularly cold, but probably a little bit cooler if that option comes off. Uh, CFSV2 finally for December. This is the latest 700 millibar height anomaly for December. And the high pressure of doom goes on. There it is, sat over top of the UK and Ireland, not budging or going anywhere fast. That would be the same high pressure that's set up in August, still there in December. Um, remarkable, consistent uh, long last pack, low pressures up around Greenland and Iceland, so the jet stream is up there as well. So we are on the mild side. <coughs> Excuse me, we are on the mild side of the uh, jet stream with that high pressure. 
So consequently, very, very mild temperatures being forecast here for uh, the UK, for Ireland, for most parts of northern West Europe as well. Actually, North America looks really mild too. So we're not alone in having a very mild December if that comes off. Um, uh, Precipitation-wise, we look like that. So, you know, no particular signal, but obviously, if we're under a big, like, area of high pressure, you, you would expect it to be uh, a rather drier than average under that big ridge of high pressure. Uh, and there it is, massive, massive area of high pressure still dominating through December, so dry and mild. Of course, under that high, you might get, like, inversions, so you could get some frost and fog. That sort of thing, the model would not be able to pick up on that because it doesn't have a high enough uh, resolution. It just looks at the parameters of the high, particularly the upper air temperatures, and, and uh, assumes that that would be the case on the surface. Not necessarily so in December. You could get frost and fog from that kind of scenario. But but basically, not, it's not a cold high. It's like, um, it's like a, a, a mid-latitude high. It's not like a northern blocking thing that's over Greenland or Scandinavia that will pull in genuinely cold Arctic or Siberian air. So there we go. We'll wait and see what happens in December then. Uh, right, that's it for your video uploads uh, for today. So uh, we've got the live stream coming up later on, though, so not it for the content. Just say that if you enjoyed today's videos, please can you smash the like button and make sure you are subscribed to our channel. You're going to be able to see future weather content if you do that. And uh, drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to your friends and family to subscribe as well. We need to put on around 90 subscribers to get to uh, 12.6k now. So uh, please give us a sub. And thank you so much uh, for doing that. Right, just so what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to start off with the 7 a.m. upload. We'll have weekend broadcasts. Of course, always on a Saturday, have your weekend look at a 10 to 14 day. And also... Uh, the fourth Christmas update. Uh, so Christmas update number four coming up at 7pm tomorrow evening. We'll be live streaming uh, after 10. So I'll around 10, 20, something like that. We'll live stream the, uh, the GFS 18 Z. So I'll see you for that. But uh, for, uh, for uh, today's videos anyway. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.